art is not just pleasure, it is for making us uncomfortable as well. Yeah, definitely. I strongly agree to this. Hi, Irini. Welcome back. Hi, Yannick. We also have expert AI to join the conversation through a voice generator. Let's talk about the reciprocal relationship between arts and research. Yannick, as a media artist, do you think art is becoming more decentralized today? In the traditional quote-unquote art world, they were deciding who gets exhibited. And I think that indeed, expert AI, we see that the gatekeepers are not as important anymore as they have been. I don't think so. I think actually it is a good thing that art is not limited to museums or festivals or art fairs anymore. I'm currently the creative director at Future Everything, which is a non-profit arts organization. And I think it is great that there are all of these grassroots organizations and collectives and artists' initiatives as well, right? They shape, in a way, the bigger institutions. What do you think, Expert AI? Indeed, the role of artists has evolved, and society often expects artists to address complex issues, challenge norms, and provoke meaningful conversations. Artists today face diverse demands. Yeah, absolutely. I think society expects artists to be involved in different parts of it, which is a good thing in a way. But I also agree with you that we are demanding a lot more from artists. I'm just thinking of the idea of an artist as philosopher, scientist, mathematician, alchemist from the Renaissance times, right? And it's super interesting that you brought up Renaissance because this also makes me think that today artists quite often even share the tools researchers use. If you take, for instance, virtual reality, something hailing more from the artistic spectrum, but it's also used to visualize scientific data and make it more accessible. When it comes to being a catalyst expert AI, how do you see your very own role in this regard? My role is serving as a catalyst for innovation and creative expression. I inspire new possibilities, challenge boundaries, and push the envelope of what is possible. Together, we can shape the future of art and technology. At least I heard the word uh, together. Yeah, I don't think you will be freed by being an artist anytime soon. <laughs> like Renaissance artists, contemporary artists still play a crucial role in reflecting and shaping society. What are your thoughts on the ethical implications of emerging technologies? Artists have very sensitive antennae, especially when it comes to the voices of marginalized people, and they actually take them into consideration. I agree with you. It's important to navigate innovation responsibly to ensure that adoption of technology doesn't negatively impact individuals or communities. Yeah, I totally agree with that. I think that automatized system, for instance, should always have a human at the end. So many, many people do not even know that they are dealing with a system trained on vast amounts of data. Yes, I think this is where art brings in an important perspective and angle in these conversations in terms of helping us see things we don't pay attention to. This was a great conversation with you, Yannick, and Expert AI, so I really hope we can continue this in the future. Yeah, definitely. So we are approaching a moment in time where things like the universal translation <laughs> hailing from Star Trek gets more and more feasible. I mean, could be an interesting route to go. Hyundai Motor, connecting art and technology.